Hi guys and welcome to 123MyT's video on how to use Apple's iCloud backup system. Okay guys, so the purpose of this video is to show people how to use the iCloud backup and what you can actually use the iCloud backup for. You can use it to save your contacts, your pictures and everything online. So if you do lose your phone, you'll have a copy of everything backed up online. So the iCloud offers five gigabytes for, of free backup space. So this is really good if you, if you wanted to save your contacts and things that don't take up much space. But if you start making big videos and things on your phone, uh, then what will happen here is eventually your iCloud space will get filled up and then you'll start getting uh, emails from Apple about purchasing more space uh, at a cost, of course. So the other thing I really wanted to show people uh, about the iCloud backup was because when you're setting up or, or you're transferring data from your phone from iOS, you can transfer it to, as you can see here, move data um, from Android, but you can also use the iCloud backup to transfer data to Android. So I'll do a video on that a bit later. But as you can see, there is also a restore from iCloud backup. So if you did lose your phone and you got a new phone, you can simply go ahead and set up your new phone um, to restore from iCloud backup and also restore from iTunes if you need to. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up as a new phone and I'll show you guys how to use the iCloud backup um, right from the word go. Now you could go in and put in your iCloud details in here and restore a phone, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set up the iCloud account for those users that already have their phone set up or have already been through this process. All right, so if you've got your iPhone um, set up already but you haven't set up the iCloud, you can go into settings and then scroll down to where it says iCloud and if you see here we want to go ahead there and we're going to put in our iCloud username and password and then press sign in. Once you're signed into your account there it will come up with your storage so you can see we've got five gigabytes available. We've got iCloud drivers off currently. We've got our photos on. Our mail is currently off. We're going to go through and just turn off a few of these things that I don't want to sync. So anything that you don't think you're going to need or, or use, if you lose your phone, um, then you can just go ahead and turn off everything here. So Safari, uh, turn off notes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off everything. I'm gonna leave my contacts on there for the time being. Um, I'm gonna turn off keep my I find my iPhone as well. So I've gone ahead and I've turned off find my iPhone. I'm just going to scroll back to the top here and we've got photos. Before I um, log in and show you how we're going to sync our contacts and photos, um, first of all you need to, I'm just going to show you how this works. So both devices, I've got my laptop here, my ASUS laptop, and both devices are plugged into, um, into the wireless or Wi-Fi. And basically when I save something on my phone, it's automatically going to save it to the iCloud account on the laptop, so I'll show you that right now. And so the next step here is just to, um, if you go to iCloud.com and you can log into uh, the iCloud account there just with the same iCloud account that you have on your mobile phone. So we'll do that right now. So you can see here, once we're logged in, you get a very similar interface here. So there's quite a few different menus here. You've got your settings, find my iPhone. So literally you can control everything from here and the same sort of settings will pop up on your phone. So if we were to go into photos, for example, photos, you can see my photo stream, iCloud. So iCloud photo library. So it says here, automatically upload and store your entire library in iCloud. Access photos, videos uh, from all your devices. So basically, if you upload a photo or a video on this phone, to the iCloud account, you'll be able to access that on your iPad or any other device that's, that does have the login details um, for the iCloud account. So my photo stream, automatically upload new photos and send them to all of your iCloud devices when you're connected to Wi-Fi. So this is important. If you don't have a lot of data on your uh, mobile account, then I would say make sure you select this one and then that way it only uploads the photos when you're connected to Wi-Fi and you've got plenty of um, data to upload. All right, let's just go back. Now let's test this out. If we were to go um, into photos on our computer here. All right, and as you can see there, no photos currently in there. Let's go ahead and we'll take a photo real quick. All 
go back into our photos and it says here if, if you're not set this up before this will come up straight away so it says iCloud photo library automatically upload all of your photos and videos iCloud access them from any device anytime you want okay so we want to go use and you can see it says one photo updating one photo to upload and now it says it's uploading one photo okay so you can see here now it says uh, updated just now and you can see up here there you go and it's popped up there now with our our photo that we've just uploaded okay so pretty straightforward if we go back oh actually if we go in here we can actually delete that photo I'll show you real quick I'm gonna delete it from here it says delete photo from all your devices this photo will be deleted from your iCloud photo library for all your devices okay so let's just hit delete and let's see if that deletes off our phone here you can see now it's deleted from our phone if we go into iCloud back into iCloud photos at the top here and let's go across to contacts so this is a contact that I created earlier and if I wanted to edit a contact so let's just press on edit there let's say we want to add it in a phone one two three and then hit done and then that should automatically come up on here and you can see it's added in our number there let's go and edit it again and let's say we wanted to edit the name we could delete out my IT and just call it I don't know MMMM and then hit done and that will actually update the contact again. Okay guys, so you can see how the iCloud can be really helpful if you lose your phone and you wanna make a backup of your phone, like a live backup, then the iCloud is really useful. Just be wary though, if you do use a lot of videos on your phone, um, you only do get five gigabyte of storage on the iCloud. So when you do do backups of videos or when you do backups of uh, pictures and you have a lot of them, then you might wanna think about uh, possibly backing up your videos to somewhere else because they will take up a lot of bandwidth and also a lot of storage on the iCloud account. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it from me. If this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.